Governorship candidates in Bayeso State have signed a peace accord to eschew violence before and after Saturday's election. But the pre-election ritual was not without blame trading by the PDP and APC governorship candidates. Our rise correspondent, Uwe Teme George, has the details. People, including a policeman, are seen scampering for safety as gunshots rent the air. That was November 13, 2019, when the People's Democratic Party took its campaign to Obulumabri in Nembe Council area of Bayelsu State. Four years after, another governorship election approaches with the political parties already trading blames over pockets of violence reported in some areas. To douse tension, the National Peace Committee invites the 16 governorship candidates to sign a peace accord. All is present except the Labour Party candidate Udeng Seradiri engaged in campaigns elsewhere. The APC today has come to demonstrate that we are committed to peace in Bayelsa. But we must say that uh, we are not very comfortable with the uh, uh, disposition of our, other, uh, of our opponents. Um, there has been a lot of violence um, perpetrated by the PDP in uh, Kolokmo Pukma. And uh, this morning I was told that uh, they were stoking violence in other places. But I'm hoping that uh, the peace accord will uh, uh, at least uh, uh, make all of us to, uh, to stand back and ensure that we obey it. And I'm quite happy about it. The former governor of the state whom you interviewed uh, has accused me, the Oyediri governor, of stockpiling arms in Kolokomo Pokuma. That should be the fattest lie of the year. Because if a man chooses to be telling lies, even in the face of this peace accord, then something is wrong. And everybody knows in this state, those who have given in to violence, and the flash red points in this state, Kolokmo Pokuma has never been a flash red point. I am one person that all of you will attest that the peace in this state is because the body language of the governor is peaceful. The body language of the governor is security. Despite the verbal spa, the electoral umpire is optimistic of a ranker-free governorship election in Bielsa State. Don't worry about the, 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 the candidates. It's like a boxing match. When people are boxing, they're all at each other, telling each other off. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But at the end of the day, one person is going to win. And I believe it's going to be a peaceful election. Vote to stay alive. Vote to see a great Bielsa. Vote to see a great Nigeria. It will be a terrible tragedy for anybody to lose his life or for you to be in hospital while the celebrations are going on. Let's make the judiciary and let's make lawyers redundant. Let's put them out of a job. And the only way we can put them out of a job is to conduct free, fair and credible elections. The peace accord has been signed, but the signatories must talk to their supporters to adhere to the rules of electoral engagement on Saturday, November 11. Ufietime George, Arise News. Joining us now is Udengs Eradiri, Labour Party governorship candidate in Bayesa State. Good morning, Comrade Udengs Eradiri. Thank you for joining us. Labour Party, good morning, Rufai. And uh, I'm not seeing who is there, but whoever is in the studio, I greet everybody. Okay. Um, you were missing yesterday. <laughs> you did not attend the uh, peace. Uh, Signing, a court signing ceremony that I held in Yenagua. Out of all the 16 candidates uh, in this election, November 11, you were the only gubernatorial candidate that did not show up. Why? What happened? Well, uh, Uncle Abadi, did I miss anything? I didn't miss anything. First, I was not invited 
uh, my party in Bayesa is working for the PDP. So if you send them information, they will hold it, especially if it will give me a mileage. Uh, I had known that since, so it didn't bother me. However, I didn't miss anything. I went for campaigns. By the time I was notified, I was at, I was in a training. I had come back from campaign. I was actually in a training for my uh, agents for the elections, and only for one of the uh, candidates to call me. That oh, they just finished us. I said I wasn't notified. In any case, did I miss anything? These guys have been some of those who signed that a peace accord. I've been consistently from 2015 involved in elections that have been violent and people have been killed. As I speak to you, people have been killed in Bayesa. Arms have been stockpiled. So what is the rhetoric of going to sign a peace accord that uh, at the end of the day, the same people, actors, they will be rolling red carpet for them. I remember when the uh, American envoy came to see me on this election and they talked about peace accord. And I, I, and I asked them, I said, why am I going to even be signing a peace accord when at the end of the day, actors in the same peace accord are being found wanting their neck and hands and neck deep in the crisis, bloodshed that took place. Those same people are, are giving red carpet when they visit uh, your country. So for me, uh, I don't attach any importance to it. Uh, if I was uh, notified, I would have been there, but I would have heard this opinion before I got there. Yesterday, I was in the to campaign. Some people came and told me that it was the PDP environment that I should leave the town. And when I saw that if I engage them, I would create conflict. I said, okay, well, let, me, let me leave. Well, the second thought I say, wait, to. Why should I even leave? And I insisted and eventually uh, people came out because my, my parents uh, were already also have knowledge in, in uh, OD. If I did not chase the governor when he went to my place, why should somebody chase me in his place? And eventually I had that engagement peacefully and left. They are promoting violence. They will give you all kinds of disposition, but they know what their people are doing. I have been very non-violent in this engagement. I was to go to Basambri. I was actually in Ogbolumabri when people said, oh no, I shouldn't come to Basambri. I said, why? I want to be governor of Bayasa. I will go. In any case, I don't move with policemen and all the guns and everything. So I walked in there and I had a fruitful engagement with the leadership of the community and left. So for me, um, I didn't miss anything. U U Udang, but Udang. If I was there, I would have signed, but I would have made this opinion clear. Udang. Please tell us more about yes. this violence and this stockpiling of weapons, number one. Also, I want your reaction to a certain, you know, political stakeholder that was saying during a campaign about killings of a certain political party in this election. Also, I want you to clarify that okay. area. Is it that yeah. the Peace Committee uh, office you know, did not get this message across to you on time. I just want you to clarify that area. But tell us more about this these arms that they are stockpiling and this violence that they are trying to meet out so that let the world know about it. There is a particular militant who is uh, close to the PT PDP government, ex-militant, who at a point was living in government house. I, I got the report this morning. What's and his of name? course, as a former IYC president, anything that... What's his name? What's I know, the name I won't of mention name? his name. For okay. obvious reasons. Okay. No, no, no. I won't do that on air. Okay. For obvious reasons. Uh, the information came to me. The intels came to me. And this morning, I have called the security agencies. Some of them are aware of it. They are stockpiling arms to intimidate voters. To say, if you are not voting for a particular party, you will not vote here. We will kill you. We will do this. These are the things that they do. They will, they will isolate those who are non-indigenous and say, this is our place, we will not allow you. And they use that as a means of terrorizing voters to the advantage of a particular party that they support. I have reported to the security agencies and uh, they, are, they are dealing with it. The issue, or I hope that they deal with it, the issue of the um, peace accord, I didn't get a letter. Usually they notify your party. But you see, my party chairman, it just yesterday they did a press conference after collecting 100 million naira from the governor they started the sharing formula started creating problems really? you, people like us i knew from day one Udengs. i am not doing Udengs. a party so your party yes. 
Well, then, so your party chairman collected 100 million from the governor. Can you tell us more about that? 100 million naira, and said he sent 50 million naira to national, and though the national have denied it, and then the sharing of the other 50 million naira started bringing argument. They went to organize a, a press briefing that uh, they have decided to support the ADD. The party chairman is an, an appointee of the governor. Right from day one, I knew, and I had blown this alarm before, that these people are not working for me. And when I go to campaign, I tell Baeza Poo, it's only the national, the state woman leader that goes with me. The rest have given me conditions. I should bring social amount, I should bring social... I don't have that kind of money. I didn't come here because of money. I came here because of the issues that affect my people. And so far, so good. I have been supported by my friends and wow. the, my business. I'm an, engineer, I'm an engineer, I practice. From there, I've been able to battle them to this point. All overtures to get me out of this race have failed. They spread all kinds of rumors. Oh, he has settled with you then. Uh, we have settled with him. He will work with us. They paid the 100 million. The argument is on. They are fighting now. The, the chairman has left town. I have reported to the national chairman. I have raised uh, a publication to that effect. And they are dealing with it for me. They are not important. They are going to be distracting me in this election if I focus on so, those So you are saying your party... We have known them to be most... So, so you are saying, your part, your, so so you are saying the Labour Party... So you are saying the Labour Party in your state is already compromised, that the party chairman has collected 100 million and they are not working for you. I want you to talk about your reaction to the MacIver statement. They did it to Obi too in your state. Tell us more about that, Okay, please. they did that to Obi. In Bielsa State. Tell us more about okay, that. Okay, uh, I, I feel sad... I feel sad about the statement that was credited to uh, Joshua McIver. Uh, I think that sometimes emotions will make people not control their, their, uh, the kind of rhetorics that they use. That alone have, have removed a lot of mileage from the support that they used to have. I'm aware that brass people have already called their deities, calling on anybody who comes to perpetrate violence to be uh, punished by deities for those who believe in those things. But you see, that kind of statement is not encouraged. And if we are talking about violence in this election, and you are saying I should come and sign a peace accord, if somebody makes such statements and people are not seeing practical steps taken by the authorities to apprehend such, then you are going to be leaving people to resort to self-help. Because if, if such statements can be made and no action taken, for me, I feel sorry for uh, uh, the governorship candidate who didn't do a proper consultation before he went ahead to pick the, the person of uh, uh, Joshua to be coming up in public to making such statements. He saw the statement he made with respect to his uh, incarceration. For me, I thought that that was very irresponsible for anybody to say, let alone a deputy governorship candidate. I condemned it in totality that uh, okay. you call for such violence when so far so good. Bayesa elections, or not until recently, had been seemingly peaceful, Udans. apart from what happened in Kolokuma, where PDP... Yes, sir. Udans, you are accusing the chairman of yes. the Labour Party yes. in Bayesa State of collecting a bribe of 100, 100 million. million. Do you have yes, any proof? And then yes, two, sir. how do you hope to win the election? Or you are just in this, just for publicity purposes? If your party is uh, not with you, how then do you hope to win? You can't be, are you uh, doing one man campaign? That, okay. How did you get to this point whereby um, members of your own party have, are not I with you? I have the entire, I, I have the entire world's local government chairman with me. The state has right from day one. They sold the be out now. You are not aware of the issues. And let me tell you, uh, uh, Uncle Ruben, look, even as you had his party people, some of them who didn't work for him, didn't even win the election. I go to the heart of the people. I go to talk to Bayesans. The issues here are not about party. They are about the poverty in Bayesa. I have been, in the course of this election, I have been to virtually every nook and cranny in the state. And I have seen the nakedness of neglect of government to the people. It is the people I'm talking to. They are the electorates. They are the ones that we vote. And so I, we, are, we are expecting all this now. If you have been following what has been happening in the, in the Labour Party and other parties, you will see that some people stand for nothing, so they fall for anything. This 100 million thing had been coming since they had, yesterday, it was if they were blowing each other as a result of the chairman saying that uh, 
They say the money is 100 million. Why you they bring 50 million? He said, oh, I don't send 50 to national. I have called the national chairman and he's making a statement to that effect and that uh, they were going to deal with it. But that, those are shenanigans. I don't even want to bother me in this election. This election is about biases. This election is about the survival of our okay. people. Uh, and I have been nice. going to the electorate. The chairman, apart from once, he followed me for campaign. He, he, he has refused to follow me. And I, I don't bother about those people. I know them. <coughs> they will sell anything for money. Well, you know, there is also that perception that the Labour Party in Bayesa State is working for the PDP. Maybe it's as a result of this. But, you know, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, we had the uh, Israel Majesty Dakolo on this same program. And he said, look, as far as he is concerned, the governor, Doye Diri, you know, is doing well. But you are saying there is poverty, there is a, a problem. But, the, you know, the uh, chairman of the Bayesa State Council of Traditional Rulers said very clearly on this program that the governor is not doing badly at all. So I, I, I there are two different... Uh, are you expecting, are you expecting, what are you expecting from the chairman of the Traditional Rulers Council? The, the king of the governor received uh, former Governor Silva, and because he made comments about the situation in the state, the governor suspended him immediately. Are you expecting the national, uh, the uh, traditional rulers council chairman to come on air and say, no, the governor is not doing well? Uh, Uncle Abati, this guy question, sometimes it makes me laugh. Because look, let me tell you, those are institutions of state. Of course, you expect that they will do all those kind of things. I am talking about no water, drinking water. I went to Age. They gave me water to swallow, to wash my oh, hands, okay. to eat okay, a okay, bath. Okay, okay. There wait, was wait, mosquito wait, uh, wait, lava wait. in the water. Udex, Udex. Concerning, concerning yes. the water question. Yes. Because we also, I also put a question to yes. the king yesterday when he was here about the water question. And he said, uh, it's not only Doye Diri's fault that there's no water. That, that, that since the state has been created, and there's, there's been no water in Bayelsa states. That, why is it that it is on Doye Diri this time around? That's one question. Number two, I also want you to prove to Ross, as regards, you know, how you said they betrayed Obi. That's another story I'd like to hear. But also, there's an allegation here for you that somebody sent. They said while you were um, IYC, your Youth Council Chief, as you people went to a radio, a live program, a radio show to beat up uh, one wisdom, Ikuli and Mike, um, and uh, there more. Can you also react to all of that? And they said uh, gunshots were uh, also oh, rang okay. out. So you just react to all of them. But the story, the proof about how they betrayed Obi and the reaction to what the kick said about water, please. See, uh, what is the job description of a governor? Once you are assigned the responsibility of a governor is to, is to break the rock and bring out water. Your responsibility is to provide services that you are paid salary for. In Bayesa, a governor does a small road that my chest is even wide, wider than. Hey, will they work? What is your job description? What is your job? Your job is to provide water. I am not going to be looking at the past. I am going to be dealing with the future. I am going to process water direct from the river. Look, these, all those are lazy men arguments. There is a problem in the land. You came and got the position. Your responsibility is to solve the problem. And if you are not solving it, then you have no capacity. Incompetence is the order of the day in Bayesa. The other questions you talked about, uh, um, the IYC. Look, the Joy Youth Council, as an institution, discipline is also part of our responsibility as a leader. Certain airy members at a time were, were becoming unbearable. There was even a court case against them. Every day I was going to sit in the court. They will not come to court. The court will take, will, will, will take action. They will go against the court. At a point I warned in the court, I told the judge that I'm a law-abiding citizen. I am here every day coming to court. These individuals are maligning my, my uh, person everywhere and refusing to come to court. The IYC has a way of disciplining every members. And when they went ahead to further, even when there was a court going on, I had to institute the disciplinary machinery of the IYC. 
and that disciplinary machinery soared to the end of that nonsense. In the IYC, once you disrespect the leader of the entire Niger Delta, the joy youths, they are means to discipline such individuals. And those, that disciplinary measure was uh, instituted to correct every members. There's one thing about discipline. Discipline, you correct those who you are U leading. U Udenz, that so, Udenz, what I'm asking instituted. you, what I'm asking other question, you is, did you go... No, there was one more question. You, Make I answer the other one. No, you answer. You, no worry, you go answer. Did you go inside the radio station and beat up somebody live and hurt them? Did you do it? That's what I'm asking. Is it I true did not or say, I did not go into the radio station. The Joy Youth Council's machinery for discipline did what was necessary at that time. So and they went to beat people it was up. That's with. the if discipline you go mechanism, back, you right? See that, you can see that as a president. No, no, no. Uh, let me tell you, uh, Rufai, as you do your work there, eh, when I'd be president of the Joy Youth Council, I do my work. I didn't play with it. And in doing my job, when people go outside the code of conduct of the institution, then disciplinary measure, measures will be instituted. Go and uh, try it during the uh, Asari time. Nobody will be talking about the way so, I went so about So beating them in the I radio station was disciplinary along, measure. I, no, I just wanted to confirm no, the fact. No, they, so were, they, were, they, were, they were not beaten up. They were disciplined. Use the right word, please. So they were disciplined. <laughs> and that's in the past. Oh because the matter also but, went but, to... But that's also to assault. They people. raised all kinds of allegations. and so thanks. They, they raised allegations Udenz. and they failed. They said I carried guns. Yeah. At the end of the day, the police was there. They were arrested by the police and taken to the so police Udenz, station. Did you so the truth is that at the radio it was station, in the process of arresting them. Yeah, so that, was there any skirmish? Yes, did you they were arrested. Them? Did you the hurt them station? at any point? Because you said discipline. When you say discipline somebody, it also means hurt them. In our the local the Youth Council used to have its disciplinary machineries. Anyway, okay. let's, come back. let's come back to the subject. Former president. Let's come back to the subject. Peace accord. Yes. In Imo State, yes, sir. Uh, some of the uh, gubernatorial candidates did not also attend the peace accord. Okay. Well, some of them, three of them, sent yes. their uh, uh, their running mates, but the uh, National Peace Committee said no. It's the principal that they committee would want not to sign the accord by proxy. And the National Peace Committee has been quoted as saying that the body is going to name those uncooperative political parties and uh, politicians who refuse to sign peace accord. Are you not bothered that should there be violence in uh, Bayesa anywhere, uh, you, could be, uh, you could be mentioned Somebody could just mention him and say, well, we know where he's coming from. After all, then Seradiri did not sign uh, the peace accord. And the joy use that had, we're talking about, are they on your side in this uh, struggle? Well, first of all, uh, this struggle is about bias state. I, I don't want to particularize it. Every joy youth, they have graduates who have graduated for four, five, ten years, no work. They are sending their children to schools. There are no teachers. The issues about the survival of our state is what defines this election. So I'm not going to go into uh, this. You know that anywhere I go to, if the videos are aired, they will air them today. You will see the massive organic support. Not the one they will carry 1,000 people to campaign venues. The people they bring are more than the people in the communities. I go there and raise organic support from the people and engage them on the issues. So for me, the, the, the suffering of our people, the underdevelopment of Bayasa, the incompetence of leadership would define these elections tomorrow. All we are asking for is that the umpire get out of the ring and be an umpire that he should be. So um, the, the other question about the, the peace, peace accord. accord. Look, peace let accord. me tell you, why are they quick to talk about those who did not attend? And they have no biting authority for those who have been perpetrating the violence. All the violence in Imo State, don't they know where it's coming from? They have not said anything about those perpetrating the violence. Is that uh, a man did not attend. I have not been violent so far so good in this process. Okay. I have been a peace-loving individual. Okay. The time in the IYC, like I tell you, there are disciplinary machineries that the president of the Joint Council must activate when necessary. 
Aside from that, I have moved on to be commissioner twice violent, in the state. In I've moved on to the federal level, and and I am not a violent person. Undeng, I have been undeng. following these elections undeng. peacefully, and can never be accused of uh, perpetrating violence. Und the peace accord should talk about discipline for those who undeng. dare, and not somebody who they did not invite. Did they invite me? So, with the exam is you've not been able to deny those allegations that you actually went there, and I apologize that I laughed because it was a very terrible. Which one? No, no, the matter of the radio station. Now, you said you people disciplined them. That means you hurt them. You took no, but I wrote, uh, 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 I wrote an ap apology at that time to the radio station that they should not allow their medium to be used to spread false information. But you, at that time, we had you a went spokesman. In there, you went in there and you beat me, people uh, up and you uh, disrupted it. No, no, no. Excuse me now. Excuse me. Go ahead. We had a spokesman that had been communicating with the media. Somebody just walks to the media and starts spreading false information. You're not talking about that. Uh, Rufai, let me tell you, another thing is happening now. I am no, the candidate. The INEC have published my name. The government, the government is using one woman to be parading herself in the state that she is the candidate. When the woman went to media houses, some of the houses told them that the INEC didn't publish your name, so please leave. They are using government house vet police to secure the woman front and back to be campaigning as no, Labour no, Party no, no, candidate no, 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 in the state. No, 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 no. That same of. woman is the woman who have taken them to court because they didn't pay her the money they agreed. Udengs, so uh, in that case, will a media house, knowing Udengs. fully well that there's INEC, go and be publishing the name Udengs. of another person Udengs. when INEC, the authority, okay. are published? Okay, so that media house is also culpable. So Udengs, let me tell you. You see, as a yes. media house, we are open to all sides of views. And I'll tell you yes. one thing that happened recently. There's a dispute in the IYC. And I remember somebody came to parade himself as head of the IYC. We gave him an audience. When the other person that is the substantive president, as, as he also made his claim, came to parade himself, and he was trying to berate and say, oh, he will have come and beat up the other person. We said, no, no room for that. And you also come and state your case. And he stated his case, and it was peaceful. So you have been able to confirm to us that you actually went, you caused mayhem, you took laws into your hands in that radio station. But the next question I really want to ask you is this. Uh, no, Udengs, let's, let's move on from no, that. You've confirmed that. Question. Allow me to respond before you go. No, now. no. So let me ask the second question before no, you no, respond. No, no, but allow me to respond. Now, you know, you draw it to the conclusion. Eh, just one minute. Oh, that yeah, go ahead. airing that you did on Lukobri's matter, I watched it. You, the Arise TV did not mention IYC president. They said Niger data analyst. And so when Lukobri came and expressed his anger, you admonished him and he quickly apologized because he wasn't well informed before he came to that studio. In this case, they know the president. Somebody goes on air, on the radio studio and say that I have bought houses in Dubai, misinforming the public, that I'm flying private jets as IYC president, misinforming the public. And even when the reporter, we were all listening, was saying, look, what you're saying is wrong. He was dragging the mic with the reporter and I was on the road. The boys started calling me president. They hear everything that happened. Some people did that. They talk, say, no, you be president. They don't bring new president. They, they talk all kinds of things. Will they go there? When I saw that he was arguing with the reporter, when the man was correcting him, I had to institute the disciplinary measure. <laughs> and I tell you that the matter was in court. Even in the court, I got up in the court Udeng. to tell the judge Udeng. that, look, Udeng. I have been peaceful. I have been abiding to the, <laughs> to the rules and regulations. But these people, despite the court order, despite the bench warrant, they are still going ahead. And that I will institute okay. the disciplinary measures of the IYC, Udeng. which I did. Okay. And that matter died. Okay. And Udeng. then I sent an apology okay. to the... A radio station yes. to say, please, next time, don't use your medium to spread okay. false information. So, 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 Always so. contact the spokesman or so, the IYC president. So, 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 a couple of things. Uh, so, we solved that problem. So, so, Udengs, a couple of things. The fact is, you took laws into yes. your hands. That's number one. Secondly, uh, you do not know the facts. That's like, not true. That's not true. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, Udengs. Okay, you can choose to disagree. I told you that I was in court. No, hang on a minute. So, the I second thing is the fact of the initial matter I yeah. cited as IYC. You do not know the facts because I was the one that first interviewed yeah. the first guest that came before Jonathan Lukwobri, and we did address him as the NYC pre uh, IYC president before we, you know, now had Lukwobri yeah. on and we settled the matter. So you don't know the facts of the matter. But Udengs, in all of this, your critics are saying that yes. this same PDP that you're calling black today, you too, you served and enjoyed this PDP administration. Is that you did not know all these things were wrong when you were with the PDP then? Why are you trying to act like a saint today? 
Because uh, you too, you are a boy, you are a uh, child of the system. You are, you, you are a son of the system. You enjoy the system. You enjoy the largesse of the land. You're a man of the system yourself. Uh, okay, let me, let me explain to you. Uh, when you say largesse, it's like I was there eating money or going to this. Let me tell you. In Bayasa, there's nothing like party. Again, uh, Rufai, I am a young man of 47 years. Do you expect my life to be capped by a group of people? No! I, when I saw that they would not allow me to make progress, I went to see the former governors. I gave them drink. I knelt down. I begged them. I said, you're doing your time. Um, you trained us. You mentored us. It don't reach my turn. It is time for young people to take leadership in the state. But these people say, no. Uh, I, I want to complete my tenure. I want to do... You don't use your time. You're not going to use my time. So if the party is your own and uh, you will not allow me, quietly... We will meet in the field, are we not in the field? I am not a young man that people cap my yes. progress or my future for personal reasons. Okay. If you come to Bayasa and look at the politics of the state, it is the time for Central to also produce governor. Okay. I have gone through leadership. If I didn't go to the PDP or did not participate in government, you would have said, ah, this one will get experience. I participated. Show me where my name was involved in looting. That's what we should be talking about. Anyway, we'll Where I was involved in corruption. We'll That's dance. what we should talk we'll about. Dance. Well, but to we'll, talk about we don't have any proof in that in regard. We we'll dance. Yes. Just hold on. Now, that, one major yes. uh, issue here is about the disciplinary measures of the IYC, the Joint Youth Council, right? And I, yes. I, I assume, of course, that the Joint Youth Council is a lawful association. Can you tell us the sections of the Constitution of IYC or the IYC has no constitution? If it has, what does it say in specific terms about discipline? What kind of disciplinary measures? Well, you know, the IYC, we are a, we are a movement. And prior, before we had uh, our constitution, we had our, our conventional laws of the IYC. And uh, um, yes, our conventional laws. Under our conventional laws, you cannot disrespect the IYC president. It doesn't happen. So I won't be, I won't, it won't be in my time that it will change or it will be in Lugbobri's time that it will change. It won't change. The, the Joy Youths, a lot of them belong to cult organizations. And then they forget that they became, they were born and conceived as Joy children. They became an adult before they joined all those rubbish cults them that they joined. They come to the IYT with the cult and come and disrespect the leadership of the organization that you were conceived as an Joy child. I will not ask for it. I used to extract that loyalty to the John Nation from them. You don't carry your rubbish cult and come and say, because you belong to one thing, you want to come and disrespect the Joy Youth Council president. It does not happen. And it will happen in my time. And, so, and but if, uh, I have demonstrated that. Come I, to the Niger Delta. Cultism, cultism is the order of the day in our communities, in our state. They have migrated that cultism to disrespect constituted authorities. Like, like the IYC, the community governance structures. Come and see the mess going on in Bayesa. No IYC president would tolerate that nonsense. When you go smoke those, your nonsense, you come to come disrespect and, IYC. And under conventional like laws of the IYC, corporal punishment is uh, allowed. With a beat. With what? Corporal punishment is allowed. With a beat. The joy youth, the joy youth beat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. That, that means, uh, you, okay, okay, I get, I get your point. It means that uh, corporal punishment is allowed. Assault, battery. It's like the OPC leadership. Do you expect somebody to go and disrespect the OPC president? He'll be beaten up. <laughs> Why should the Joy Youth Council won't become a discussion on national TV when you know the rules? Nobody will go and disrespect the Arewa president. An Arewa youth disrespecting the president? There will be measures that will be kicked in immediately, even before okay. the authorities so, so, will so, understand so, what's going on. So it's good on. you confirm to us now that you did go to the radio station and beat those people up. Well, then, thank you so much Uden, I did for not deny time. it. Now, the matter went to court. Okay, so it thank you. It went to court. Uden, it you went gotta, to court and I won. Who does so we have to go? Thank you so much. Wish you a lot of luck in your elections, all right? Thank you.